this guy, which is a, an offset knife, and this is supposed to help your knuckles, right? See my knuckles here when I'm cutting? So if I'm cutting slices of bread for somebody, my this normal one, ah, gotta hit the thing, right? On this one, straight there. Boy, that's nice. So you can just cut and you, you, you don't hit, hit the table there, all right? And again, you're just sawing, right? Cut away. Easy. What you don't want to do when you're cutting bread is you don't want to push, right? When you do this, you know, you smash the bread, right? No. What you want to do is you want to use the blade. Let the blade do it, just like a saw. Let the blade do the work, all right? And it's just sawing through. You don't even have to push. Okay? This is the earth, earth version. The best bread for bruschetta is the older, the better. An old Tuscan told me that from Luca. He says, the older the bread, the better the bruschetta. So it's stale. And it's uh, you can still cut it. It's great. Don't don't be afraid of it. So what you do is you take a um, you take a clove of garlic, right? So we we toasted this. This is a little toasted more than I typically do it, but if you like it a little more toasted, great. If not, you can go a little less, right? You take the clove and you just spread it on there. Right? And, uh, get a plate. It smells great. So. You just spread the garlic on there. This is a simple bruschetta that I'm doing. Now, after this, you could put tomatoes on, you could put a salsa that you've made with tomatoes and blah, 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 basil, whatever you wanted. This is just a simple one. So I put, I spread it with garlic, and then I just top it with a little bit of olive oil. Like I said, you know, most people think of bruschetta as with tomatoes and basil. That can be done. You can also rub the tomato. Like take a, a whole tomato and rub it on there after you rub the garlic, right? But you're using the, the, the coarseness of the bread to kind of sandpaper the, the garlic, so that's what's happening. You can see that this is about half of what it started with because it's on bread now, right? So you put a little oil on it, moisten it up, and then just a little bit of salt, right? And there you have it. Nice little bruschetta. It's fabulous.